This is the overall look of the brew house. Hot water tank, mesh tank, kettle. Here I have marked the pipes connecting each tank with different letter, like H1, hot water tank, pipe 1. H2, this is for CIP, H2. Here, this is the tap water inlet, tap water inlet from here. And uh, if go up, it is for CIP or water inlet to the hot liquid, liquid tank. This is H4. This is the overflow pipe. Yeah. And uh, this is the H3. This is for hot water recirculation connecting with the pump out. And below, here is the H5. This is the hot water out. This pipe will connect with the hot water pump in here. I have marked the two main pipes behind with A1 and A2 and B1 and B2. These are two long pipes which you can easily distinguish. Okay. Here, connecting A1 valve. This is for a temperature gauge which will be connected uh, when delivery. This is the flow meter. Flow meter. Now, here it is the mesh tongue. Let's see. M1. This is the water inlet. M1. You can see it, it is connected with the tap water pipeline. If you open this valve, the water will come, you go out and into the mesh tank. I marked M1 and M11. Here, this is the M2. Connecting with the mesh tank CIP, M2. So if you open this valve, the tap water will come in along with this long pipe and then go up for cleaning the mesh tongue. So this is the uh, mesh tongue piping. So oh, here, this is the outlet for mesh tongue. This is for water, for the meshing. This is a T valve. And here I marked a G1. Uh, we call it, uh, we call this uh, water grant or underback. So G1 is the inlet for the grant. You can see this is the inlet. And uh, G2 is for tap water come in for CIP cleaning. So let's look again. The upper pipeline is for tap water. Come here, open this valve. CIP cleaning. So there is a. So this is a very short pipe. I didn't mark it. This is for grant for the meshing out. 
there is a YouTube here, and uh, this is for the uh, drain drain valve. So the water will come come from here and uh, be pumped through here. The side glass you can see if it is clear from this here, and uh, the clear water will be pumped into the kettle. So K1, I marked the K1. So it will come into the kettle. Here we go. This is the kettle. K1 in liter. And uh, K2 still it is connected connected with the tap water pipeline. You open this valve. You open this valve. The tap water will go up for safety cleaning and uh, this is for the this is for the drain pipeline and I also marked uh, K3 and K4 this is for a drain and K4 is for clear the clear water after warping come from here will be pumped out so this will be beer come out you connect with your pipeline okay so this is the plate chiller this is the beer outlet the beer outlet this is a side glass and here it uh, we will install a temperature gauge later and uh, here you connect your pipe to transfer the beer to the fermenter. So let's see the pipeline connecting with the plate chiller. Here, this is for the oxygen, the capstone. And I marked the P1 for this pipe. For this pipe is uh, water in. And uh, I marked the P2. This is for tap water out. So this long pipe, which I marked uh, B, the long pipe you can see a long ways, uh, the warm water will go back to the hot liquid tank and here I marked P3 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 1 connecting with the P3 This pipeline is at the back. We slightly go back to see the P1 piping connecting with a T and a set glass and a pipeline filter. So this pipe is for the kettle pipe. You can see. So finally, this is for the kettle or pole inlet. So I marked a K5 here. Let's see the back of the brew house. Here is a long pipe. This is for the warm water go back to This is for water, cooling water in, cooling water inlet to the condenser. Oh, oh, this is the pipeline for cooling water. Go directly to the plate chiller, cooling water inlet. And this is the condenser out. I have marked a K2. 
condenser out CO, the condenser out pipe there has combined into the B2 pipe, which back to uh, back to the hot liquid tank and uh, collect the warm water. So the pipe at the back has no valve, so all valves are set on the front for your easy operation. So for summary, on the upper pipeline, this is for tap water in liter, and you can open each valve for the water go into each tank. And uh, on the lower pipeline, this is for warm water come back to the hot water tank. And uh, on the back, on the back, the long pipeline is mainly to power the condenser inlet and also the plate chiller cooling water inlet. So this is the function of the, the back pipeline. So, and here it is the full fermenter.